In this video, I will be showing you guys all of the new features and changes within this new GTA Online Event Week. So of course guys, Rockstar Games have just released their new GTA Online Event Week, which will include things like bonus money, some different discounts and some other things like that. Now overall, after already looking through this Event Week, I do think that this is pretty good, especially compared to the last two Event Weeks we had. So without wasting any more time guys, let's dive straight into this video. To begin with, this Event Week has just begun today, which is May 16th. And and everything in this event week will be available until May 22nd. In this short paragraph we see that we have some rewards on airborne activities like the junk energy skydives. Alongside this there is some numerous discounts on hangar properties and Buckingham helicopters. Also, if you guys assist Jamal Amir in one of the new Salvage Yard robberies, you will be able to steal the Ubermax Cypher with a limited edition Los Santos Panic Vanity Plate for the Gangbanger robbery. And this will also be one of them claimable vehicles that we have not seen in quite some time. For the new weekly challenge this week, if you guys achieve a gold medal in 5 Junk Energy Skydives, this will get you guys $100,000. Now this shouldn't be too hard to complete, you guys can also keep restarting these if you do mess up, and there will be a total of of 10 of these junk energy skydives each day that you guys can complete with a gold medal. But now guys moving over to some bonus money we first of all have some triple money and RP on the drop zone adversary mode and also these junk energy skydives. Now in my opinion both of these things with the three times money and RP will be probably the best way that you guys can make money this week especially the junk energy skydives. I think we have had these with the double money before and even with double money they made you guys some ridiculous amounts of money. This is something that I will definitely be showing you guys how to do. They are fairly straightforward and I also believe that they are completely free to start. And then moving down to some double money and RP, we have this for the air races. Now this could be potentially all of the air races across GTA Online, which will probably make the most sense. Some of these air races can be very fun to play. Heading over to some discounts guys, we first of all have a massive 50% off hangar staff source air freight cargo fee, which is very similar to the special cargo warehouses fee when you guys send one of your warehouse staff members off. If you guys like to use the hangar business, especially after all of the different changes by Rockstar, you will definitely be very glad to see this change and it can make you guys some pretty good money if done often. For some more discounts here at a 40% off, we have the Declassy Draugr, the Lampadati Komodo and the Pegasi Osiris. The discounts don't even stop there guys, we also have all of these things with a 30% off. First of all, we have the hangar properties, including their upgrades and modifications. We also have all of these Buckingham vehicles, which will be mainly helicopters. And last but not least, we have the Vellum 5-seater. Now for this 30% discount, I would definitely say some of these things might be viable options. For example, maybe the Canada. Now I personally do not own this vehicle. I honestly think the only thing I earn on here is probably the Swift Deluxe or the Super Valito Carbon. And even then, I still don't really use these things. Obviously, Obviously the best discount on here is probably the hangar property one. And last but not least for our discounts guys, we of course have the gun van primary discount. We have a 40% off the switchblade and then a 30% off for GTA Plus members for the heavy sniper, which honestly is a very good discount. After this, we have some new salvage yard robberies for this week. We first of all have the Duggan robbery for the Pifter Neon, the Gangbanger robbery for the Ubermax Cypher, which will be the claimable vehicle. And finally, the podium robbery for the Albany. Brigham. Moving over to the Lucky Wheel Podium Vehicle guys, we have the Karen Sultan Classic. Now this is a great vehicle and I would probably recommend trying to get this. You'll have a whole week to spin the Lucky Wheel each day, so hopefully you guys can get this for free. Inside the LS Car Meet, the new prize ride this week will be the Vapid Dominator ASP. If you guys want to win this vehicle, just place top 5 in the LS Car Meet series for 4 days in a row. And over at Simeon's Auto Shop, you guys can find the Dinka Double T, the Enos Stafford, the Lampadati Pagali, the Nagasaki Hot Rod Blazer, and the Vapid Riata. Just looking at some of these vehicles, I do think that some of them are the ones that Rockstar removed. If you guys remember, Rockstar removed a bunch of different vehicles. So now will be a great time to pick one of them up if you want to get one. For the Luxury Autos dealership cars, you guys can find the Albany Cavalcade XL and the Bravado Dorado. For the LS Car Meet Test Track vehicles, we have these vehicles on screen. For the standard test track vehicles, we have the Dinka Jester, the Ocelot Lynx, and the Pegasi Vaca. And if you play on the next gen consoles,
consoles with the next gen version of GTA Online, you can test ride the Grotti Brioso R slash Air. From all of these vehicles, I would definitely recommend the Dinka Jester and probably the Ocelot Lynx. And if you guys want a really good throwback vehicle, I would definitely recommend the Pegasi Vaca. I believe this is sort of a Lamborghini style of vehicle, but in terms of top speed and everything else like that, it will not hold up against the best vehicles today, but overall still a great choice. And last but not least guys, to wrap up this whole event week, we of course have all of the different time trials. We first of all have the new premium race, which will be called Business Trip. The standard time trial is Vinewood Bowl, and the HSW time trial is Textile City to Stab City. Now altogether, taking everything into consideration with this event week, I definitely don't think it's too bad. I think the best things are probably the Junk Energy Skydives for bonus money. Just remember they do have the triple money and RP, and if you guys complete all 10 of them with the gold medal, you will be able to make some serious money. Along with this, I also think the discounts are pretty good this week, especially the discount to the hangar properties. And also guys, do not forget about the claimable vehicle inside the salvage yard if you guys earn a salvage yard. We finally have one again, so it is probably worth doing. I believe you guys only have to spend $20,000 at most, maybe $30,000 for the whole thing. And of course, in GTA Online, getting a whole vehicle for roughly $30,000 is very good. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on this event week in the comments down below. What is your favorite feature? And as always, if you guys want to enjoy this video or find it useful in some way, shape or form, make sure to leave a like. I really appreciate your support. And if you guys are new here, subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss a video. Finally, guys, stay safe. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.